many grounds with big stands and everything like they have today. The weather in England at that stage wasn't very good. There were no complaints about the ground or the facilities. And Tom, what, what about the team itself that you played in? Through my rugby career, I have never played with a team like we had in the 60s. The late 50s and 60s, uh, St. Helens was, must have been the crest of the wave at that stage. We had really a team of internationals. Can I take you back to your very first game against Leeds, Tom? Obviously, I was very nervous uh, coming to a, a strange country, a strange game for me as, as such. And uh, I remember Pat Quinn, the ball was over, over our try line and uh, I should have kicked it over the dead ball line and I didn't and Pat Quinn scored. And I remember Alan Prescott, who was the captain on the side, just said to me, he said, next time when that happens, kick the ball over the grandstand. But as it turned out, Ray, Ray Price was the, the standoff. And I think in the last minute, he broke through and he gave me the ball and I scored my first try ever for St. Helens. And I was coached by Jim Sullivan for a week before I played my first game. The following week, Tom, as I recall, uh, the first team was at Whitehead, which in those days was a pretty difficult place to go. So you uh, was down to play in the A team and, and I don't know whether you can remember or not Tom but I've just been looking it up actually but the St. Helens three quarter for that A team game was, was yourself Kenny Large, David Johnson and Sam Clemson and I guess Tom you know that probably was the fastest ever three quarter line that, that turned out in a rugby league game. Didn't Clemson also run uh, the 100 uh... Yards for England, or he was in the trials or something. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I scored three tries that day. And as it turned out, uh, after Dougie Greenwell retired, Kenny became my regular centre, and we scored that try at Wembley and all that. Yeah, it was great memories. Even for that A-team game that I was just speaking of, if memory serves me right, I think there's about seven or 8,000 spectators on that, uh, including myself, incidentally, that particular afternoon. Well, there was a, a big crowd with... Uh, at the training that uh, that Thursday night, it was a great feeling to see all those uh, the people so interested. And well, as it turned out, we had a, a good game against. Uh, White Island.